All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Today is the final day of the summer camp. Um, so some of the summer camp students are in the crowd. We have this group right here that's going to give their final project over to Hydrink. Let them. Uh, Hi, I'm Wani. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kirby. I'm Helena. We're Holbert and Hijinx. Uh, this is actually the first thing we came up with, the name. And everyone rejected it, but we couldn't come up with a better one, so I got to keep it. All right. So, Holbert and Hijinx is a create your own adventure website uh, with many choices and lots of drama. Very, very interesting. Um, so, Food tap template and shake up it. And we also learned why more people don't make these websites because they're very hard, very difficult, and not very rewarding. <laughs> um, what was hard about this is that we had a lot of semicolons that would mess up some links but not other links, so we couldn't figure out why they why work. We also had a problem where every document had too many quotation marks and it messed up other things. That was great. Uh, we also had a problem keeping track of files. We named them really stupid things, and we kept getting lost. We had many GitHub conflicts. We would work on the same thing some with and override each other. That was great. That was great as well. So the want your then you can also go to the about. All right, so the pages consist of HTML text and image place. We also use JavaScript button link as well as CSS uh, styling. For some reason, we had over 100 pages just because uh, we were that creative. And we use, and those pages had centered elements and div styling. Uh, in the future, we'd like to add something like even a little bit more just buttons with links, maybe mini games or like other functions. Uh, maybe like a directory menu so you can see like how many paths there are. And also we kind of want a more sophisticated design since we started off with a template and we use that all throughout. And then once we we're finished, we can really change a hundred plus different layouts at the same time. Maybe come up with something better looking at the beginning and then do that. I think that's it. Let's go to our fantastic website. Oh boy, that text is beautifully large. All right. <laughs> Play my own game. <laughs> All right, so thanks, I'm good. Woo. There we go. Congratulations, you finished the game. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> all right well so if you do choose to wake up this is what greets you so what do you want for breakfast
You can see why we easily have 100 plus pages. Most important decision of the game. I googled Holbertson and I cropped him. <laughs> Let's go back. Is Julian again? The future, we would also like to hire good writers. Um, I'd like to do art in my free time, so I thought I'd bring my Photoshop skills to the table as well. Stop. It is perfectly cropped. Guys, we're gonna. It's about five minutes. Um, yeah, go to our website for more. Uh, there's, there's much more. You only saw like maybe a third of it. Holberton dash hijinks dot Heroku app dot com. That's this. All right. Good. Wait, uh, I have a couple questions for you guys. So, what was the most, <laughs> first off, where was the inspiration for this project? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, great answer. What was the hardest part of it? <laughs> uh, what about you? Oh, because you guys are using the desktop app, right? Gotcha. <laughs> um, does anyone have a question? <laughs> Thank you, guys. So this is our art project. Our group name is A is for Art, because they didn't want to be salty both for oatmeal. Said that. Got stuck. Um, started off. Started off. Hello. Hello. Yep. So why we made why we made this site? Um, it's a site. First of all, it's a website about art. Um, why do we like art? Because well, art is awesome. Because there's many different types of art, and it's like 
colorful, and I like, we all like colorful things. <laughs> yeah. So our web page has 10 pages, I know. You have the home page, the pop art page, the graffiti page, the paradoxal art page, the realistic page, the neo-noir page, the freestyle art page, the contemporary page, minimalistic and abstract. During this, we learned how to make and design a website, the infrastructure of websites and how they work, how to follow the framework of the school, and how to work in groups. So um, for this website, our main setback, I mean, for me, it was uh, GitHub, because I just couldn't work it out. Every time I'll have to ask Aaron for it, and then, I don't know. And then we, ha we had a lot of bugs in our code, because if I, if I don't put my code, if I, if, I, if I don't put my uh, HTML file right next to my CSS file in its own private folder, it wouldn't work. So I don't know if that's sorted out or not. Um, and we also had uh, a bit of struggles to keeping task on time, because uh, uh, we did most of the work the previous two days. Before that, we were mostly goofing off. Don't put me in that. That was, mm, no. So. So next time we would like to ask, add like more decorations, maybe like more content because I don't think that I don't think our website has like enough pages for it to be like our website. Yeah, add a new sign in page because you gotta sign in to see our art. Great, like yeah. And then now we're just gonna move on to the actual website. Let me have that right over here. So, so this here is um our our website and um um right. Jeremiah made the home page so he'll just talk out for you. So on our home page we have our first three galleries up here. You know, neo noir, those we don't have a search bar because we don't have don't know how to do that. We don't need a search bar for just nine. They're overrated anyway. Um, down here we have our other six styles of art that we all stole from Google. And we will go into the first gallery. So as you see, here's the neo-noir art gallery. Um, you hover over them, you can see the artists who made them and the titles, some of them. Some of them don't have titles or artists, apparently. And this page alone took five days to make. This is the minimalistic gallery. Um, that's it. And that's, it's pretty minimalistic. That's why I said we need more web pages. Else. That's the bare minimum because I didn't feel like it. And here's the abstract art gallery where we did more stealing from Google. And you can't read the names of any of these people. And now we'll move on to Donna's page. So I did pop art, I did graffiti, and I did paradoxal art. So I'll go paradoxal first because it's first. And paradoxal art is, um, I have the definition over here, but yeah. I didn't expect it to be this small when I tested it out. It was like this. Yeah, but that's how it's supposed to be. Either way, so basically, I put six types of paradoxal art. Three of them had to be gifts, because then without them, paradoxal art, like, it, uh, it's meant to be out of, you know, out of the normal. Because, like, this, what mouse go? Okay, here. So these, these stairs, they can only be possible when you think of it in 2D. But uh, I, I searched this up. But if you, do, if you actually try to recreate it in 3D, it's actually impossible, according to Wikipedia. And then I did the pop art here. I don't know why, but I think this is the best page I did. I mean, it just looks nice. And that's, if you guys seen the Avengers Infinity War movie, it's kind of outdated now. But still, um, that's the Infinity Gauntlet made in pop art. So there's, there's the Gamora and the, there's some other people. That's just a snapshot of a sunset in the comic book. Because, I mean, 
Pop art's mainly about stuff in the comic book. And then there's Harley Quinn. You guys should know about her. Um, <laughs> so this is any normal city girl in pop art. And when I was putting this image in, I don't know why this doesn't really matter, but still, when I kind of dr- oh well, it doesn't work now. Either way, and that's the that's a pop art of Superman, and um, yeah, and that's basically a person using a spray can in pop art. And, and this is my home page button, and all three of us have different layouts. So I don't know Tommy's. I know his his home page is around over here. We just like to keep it different. Yeah, so like the home page button doesn't work because we don't know why, but. We don't need those anyway. Boom, it worked now. Okay, so um, now we have graffiti. Um, and basically, I mean, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's graffiti. It's, 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 yeah, that's it. That's amazing. Um... Um, as you can see here, there's some uh, technical difficulties for loading the uh, images because Aaron will be sort of speak to you about this afterward. Yeah, you can continue. Are you, are you done? Okay. Um. So, freestyle is basically arts about like you could draw like pretty much any way you want. You just be creative yourself when you're drawing it. I have no idea why only those two pages, those two images doesn't work. Album doesn't work. Go back. Okay, that works. Um, so realistic art is like it involves like a lot of shading, um, because the arts are like they want you to look at it and think that it's real. So that's basically why it's called realistic art. Um, and this is contemporary art. I didn't really have time to, um, you know, style my webpage because my image just doesn't show up. So we, we have to work a lot of times to figure it out. How, how like, why it's it was in my computer and won't show like on the computer. And that's our website. Basically as it. Bare as it can get. A couple questions for you guys. Go for it. <laughs> so again, what's the inspiration for doing this uh art to be site? completely honest? Their group took music. I wanted music, but it was too late, so I went for art. Okay. That's, basically okay. It. <laughs> That's the only um, option that was left. So, what was one of the most? Okay, let me show you this. Show you this. So, let me show you this. <laughs> you see how these images are the same size, and this name shows up when I hover, and see how these images show up to begin with. That took five days. Um, see how there's nothing above here? That disappeared the first day. Don't know where it went. <laughs> <laughs> we had actually a pretty neat... See the fact that these are in a column? That took three days. See the fact that we got to this webpage? That stopped <laughs> happening today. <laughs> see the fact that there are lines here? That was another day. <laughs> All right, I get it. <laughs> the search bar also disappeared the second day. And we also homepage had... stopped working today. <laughs> I have to go back twice. That's the thing. This used to disappear, and so there were a lot of there were all of the bugs. There were all of the bugs. <laughs> All right, well, good job, guys. And I had to find names. Because no one labels their stuff on Google. I don't know why. I, could, I, I searched for like 10 minutes per page for Arthur. None of a creator. None of them showed up. I had to find 10 new images. Go back one more time. Okay, all right, here we're going to go. Here we... And you see, let's see, let's see. Weenie, meenie. One, 
two and three, all of those images disappeared yesterday. Gone. Don't know it. They just <laughs> vanished like Houdini. Had to make, stayed for another hour to fix all of this. Don't know what happened. Still don't know what happened. I don't care enough to, it, it's, it's fixed now. Oh my God. So in future references for the uh, flower and landscape expansion pack, we'll be sure to add a search bar, a uh, way to sign in, a friend, like clan system, so you can connect with the Twitter guild. That'll also be fun. Um, and that'll be out shortly. Look forward to that. Somewhere right. before the end of the 21st century expansion, before that gets put into the history vault. So be on the lookout. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. So we made a quote site about like motivational quotes, some like meme quotes. Uh, the idea was from Jim. And um, yeah, he was like, he made it because our first ID didn't work. So, I uh, we call our um website uh both site dot, but that's not what it actually. Go to it, actually, the link to it. Call uh motivating people throughout. And it uses memes, and there's a message uh, from Cranius website. We learned uh, how to like work because we had some like conflict on the way, but eventually uh, we learned like how to also use uh. Aspect valid for uh, struggles. Um, at first, we didn't have a like design to our website, it was simply like row of columns. Try to have format for each. Uh, Web page. Also, we had troubles with the font. Couldn't get the same font for like every web page. Also, make uh putting the images like both. Well, because no, we didn't really know how to like. But with the help, of Aaron, uh. Uh, this website makes for more motive app problems like should I ask for like your feedback because our website like kind of basic and so we could have put like JavaScript uh because our website and also, I like Aaron for motivating us and like that and giving us ideas. <laughs> uh, so. Our web. This is like the home page of our website, and just like long graph talks about <laughs> the about page, like about us. We all go to school. So, uh, 
uh, this is the live quote, and like, uh, so Perry, uh, one uh, on here, I uh, take all the images or all the quotes, and there are five that he takes. And these are the student aspects of those. Uh, not sure if you can read it all. He chose all of, of the quotes. I uh, can't, can't really see. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which one do you want me to read? All then? Oh. You can read two. Okay. Cashier, uh, that would be 365. I'm going to ask say 365? Damn right. 100 emoji. I'm on my... I'm on my grind all day, non-stop, 24-7, right? No thoughts. Oh. <laughs> is, are, is there anything else? Yeah. That's everything? All right, cool. Um, so for you, what was the inspiration for the, for the quote? Uh... So, Jim, he likes to like spam quotes like that. And he would always spam these, so I guess, I guess, uh, he wanted to do a page. Uh, and how did you find? I think he. Yeah. Two right. images, <laughs> yeah. And uh, what was your hardest? The formatting, because <laughs> like at first, this five added. So our web page, Moodzik. Name is Sophia. I'm Justin. I'm Nick. Blue. Why Moodzik? The motive behind Moodzik was we wanted to make it easier for people to find songs based on mood. Uh, we learned uh, how to use. So we learned, we learned how to use this DSS and use GitHub co collaboration, edit each other's code, and learn how to use like the framework. Uh, our struggles for this was at first for like the GitHub collaboration, it was like matching up each other's code because it's kind of a struggle in general to just get all of ours together. Uh, also, designing the web page, so like this, like first off, finding like the colors, really annoying. We had like whole about finding everything. the color scheme was really hard. Yep. Because uh, no reason, but you know, <laughs> um, yeah. And then we have navigation bar that was kind of last minute. We wanted to try something new, so we had the logo for that and navigation. Pages was kind of annoying at first, but then like kind of got the hang of. Okay, so 
improvement for our website, I think we would definitely want to add like, because we based ours bottom. So I feel like we would want like a search bar, search through all the playlists, uh, videos like um, music videos or I don't know like cool videos listening I guess, and uh, featured artists or like songs. So here follow, so get notified. We would also probably um, add more mood because we only six. We only could think of six. So this is our website. Pretty much, you ask yourself, how are you feeling today? How are you guys feeling today? I can see it in your eyes, you're angry. Regret that shit, don't put your feeling down. The magazine, like. How else are you guys feeling today? <laughs> Chill it out. Are you guys feeling a little sleepy? So that's our whoops. All right, good job, guys. Um, so again, <laughs> so what was the inspiration here? Well, when we first heard that we were gonna do a website, first thing that came up to my mind is music, so that's like that'd be really interesting, like incorporate music into it. What we could come up with. And I think, like, I don't use Spotify, but mm. food's on there, right? Yeah. So I thought it was original because I didn't know that. So <laughs> <laughs> um, that's why I came up with the idea, and I was trying to. And, yeah, and this is what we came up with. I tried to find, like, thick, basic mood, like, the music, and cool. it go based with your mood. Um, we expanded the website, obviously, way more mood. Cause how did you guys go about? So we split it up in three. We all did two, so and we did it, did it out. Tried to find music. Who picked which mood? Yeah, please. I need to know. <laughs> So I did Heartbroken and Sprung because neither of them knew what Sprung was. And I guess they didn't know heartbreaking music. Uh, I did Sleepy and I think Lively. <laughs> I, you know, it, it was an attempt. 
Miguel, and what did you do? I did turned into. All right. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, and what was the hardest part about? Well, the, the website. Um, hardest part. I, I think a lot of it is like generally kind of the same. Like maybe like at first we didn't know what we were really doing hard. Once we kinda of got the hang of it, it was like going like, not easy but Yeah, I think for the most part it was pretty easy, like what he said, like once we got the hang of it. Yeah, but I think like picking the theme was really hard for us. Like I said. I remember yeah. there was a whole debate. We had a whole vote. <laughs> All right, good job, guys. Thank you.